Hey everyone, I'm Darth Bribe, and I'd like to do a little rant that has bothered me for just a little while. Now, I was thinking about doing this actually before this even came out. My rant is about the Hunger Games DVD release. See that? I got the two disc DVD version of the movie. Now, let me just talk about the movie for like a few minutes. For like a little bit. For like. You know, I'll just talk about the movie for a little bit, okay? So, I think this is a pretty damn good movie. You know, it got me introduced to the uh, book series that this is based off of. Uh, Jennifer Lawrence did a great job playing this character. To me, one of the best female characters, one of the best badass female characters of all time. Not as, uh, not like the, I will fuck you up like Black Widow. But more along the lines of like a, uh, like a Luke Skywalker relatable hero's journey character. So, she's like the female Luke Skywalker. Not, okay. Knowing that, I think it was a damn good movie. Let me cry a little bit. I really enjoyed it. Problem with this release. Both Blu-ray and DVD. There was no Blu-ray DVD combo pack. What the fuck was up with that? I mean, look. I consider myself a Blu-ray enthusiast in any way. Like, I will upgrade to Blu-ray in many cases. Why? More extras, better video quality, uh, better everything, more interactivity. Um, you know, I can play around with the menus, I can do whatever I want pretty much. I can play on my PS3. But anyway, let me just call it. But, like, going on beyond of my love of Blu-ray, I love, like, if I want to talk about what I think the best type of things are, it's Blu-ray and DVD comic packs. Why? Because in my opinion, well, you get both. You can, you got Blu-ray and DVD. In fact, I think the best kind of Blu-ray and DVD comic packs are the ones with a digital copy, where the DVD also contains a digital copy. So even when the digital copy is gone and freaking useless, you still got the DVD edition to give away to a friend, like say, hey, I like uh, I like this movie, like, like okay, I'll, I'm just gonna show you this. This should have had a freaking Blu-ray DVD comic back. You know why? The Avengers, one of the best. Okay, I think this and The Dark Knight are tied for the best comic book movie ever. Not gonna say which is better, because to me, The Dark Knight. And the Avengers are two really excellent movies. They're both equally the best comic book movies, two of the best comic book movies of all time. And to me, they both deserve to be on number one. Okay, this is the Steelbook edition. I got, I bought this separately, and this was a my own custom collector set, and I like to look at it because, look, Blu-ray, bonus disc with it, which I bought separately. And a DVD. Okay? This isn't like DVD is getting phased out, okay? Like, like if DVD was getting phased out, I can accept that, you know? Like, high def is coming in, standard def has been dying off, if not, is dead now and forever. So, look at, I'd also like to address one other thing about this DVD release. I, before, like, this came in the mail, I compared the extras on the Blu-ray and the DVD. They are the exact same freaking extras for both. Like, I'm just going to show you what the screen thing is, okay? Now, this is what they could have done. You could have had Katniss. You could have had the Blu-ray for Katniss Everdeen, okay? The D, the bonus features for PETA, which is what they did. Disc 3 could be a DVD with uh, either Ruth or L Gale, Liam, Hen Liam Hensworth's character. Okay? So that's my little mild rant about the Hunger Games DVD release. It was bullshit. They should have had a combo pack. I wish they got the Blu ray edition instead. That is probably the movie that would really look a lot better in Tiny B. It should have had a combo pack. 
Should have had a fucking comma back. Should have had a fucking comma back. Should have had a fucking comma back. Where the fuck's the comma back? Why wasn't there a combo pack? Lionsgate, you suck balls. Live long and prosper and have a nice day.